The Tunisian Institute for Strategic Studies organized a national symposium to shed light on the challenges facing the sector of ports in the North African state. We have seven ports in Tunisia. Six of them were built over 150 years ago. Their total capacity is 50 commercial ships. 98% of the country's trade and commercial exchange is based on maritime transport. We cannot increase export without investing in new and modern ports. Government officials noted that reforming the port industry is still possible. They rejected any privatization project. Tunisian ports are a handicap for the national economy. Maritime transport cost is very high due to the inefficiency of our ports. However, the government has a reform project. The privatization of ports will lead to thousands of layoffs and cause a new social problem. The director of the Institute for Strategic Studies argued that Tunisia needs to take advantage from the positive economic impact of China's Belt and Road Initiative. It is the first time in our history that Tunisia does not have a commercial maritime fleet. We are a Mediterranean country with a strategic location and 1,300 kilometer long coastline. China is preparing for a commercial revolution in the world with the Belt and Road Initiative. The new Silk Road project will change the Mediterranean basin, Africa and the world and we must get ready for this historic event. The Tunisian Maritime Steve Doring and Handling Company Stan has recently finalized an investment plan of $33 million for the acquisition of new equipment, in addition to the decision taken for the redevelopment of platforms 8 and 9 at the port of Rades. The Minister of Transport announced that STAM is looking for a strategic partner to improve its port services. The Minister also believes that the restructuring of STAM is necessary to meet the needs of the national economy in terms of import and export and the expectations of the private sector. Adnan Jirishi, CGTN, Tunis.